One of the things I've been calling out is that we really need to get past this idea of short-term memory context windows in AI, where you have a limited context window and then the AI just forgets. Well, Google has written a paper that helps us think about how to get past that. Uh, it's called Titans, and it's basically presenting a different architecture than traditional transformer-based architecture in large language models. I'm going to try and explain it to you very briefly. We should probably do a longer video on this at some point, but the paper just came out. I'm still reading it. So the takeaways that I have at the top, right now, Transformers use self-attention to compute relationships between all of the tokens in a sequence. So if you say the cat jumped over the dog, that's a sequence. It's computing the relationship between the tokens in that sequence. So self-attention is going to have, mathematically speaking, what we would call quadratic complexity. In other words, it's very, very expensive to compute for long sequences because you're multiplying across all of the relationships. And transformers struggle and don't explicitly distinguish between short-term and long-term memory. It all works like that. Every token interacts with all of the others. And so Titans is different because Titans introduces something that's closer to our own brains. There's a dual memory system in Titans. A Titans architecture apparently has a short-term memory, which is very similar to how transformers work today. And it focuses on local dependencies. It also has a long-term memory, which is a separate net new neural module that's explicitly designed to store and retrieve information from past contexts. Now, what's interesting is it apparently works over longer context windows. So Titan's long-term memory can handle context lengths exceeding 2 million tokens. It does that by efficiently retrieving information without recomputing the dependencies for the entire sequence. So it can look at ultra long range dependencies like uh, relationships between genes in a genome. Now, the nice thing is it enables you to get to linear scaling versus sort of the computational cost of quadratic scaling. And I know that sounds mathematical, but basically if you're not computing all the relationships all the time, then you're able to scale farther. And so that's really exciting. I'm still digging in. I'm still trying to figure out what all is in here, but potentially it seems to enable long range needle in a haystack type memory retrieval. That's what the authors claim they did. They claim they tested it versus baseline transformer architecture on what's called a needle in a haystack task. A classic example is you change one word in Moby Dick and you tell the transformer to find it and you see if it can look through the entire context window and find it. And they claim that their long-term uh, Titan's memory architecture does better at that than baseline. Um, and they think that by explicitly differentiating what requires immediate attention and short-term memory versus long-term attention, it's going to mimic human abilities better and allow us to exceed traditional context windows. That's what I've got so far. I'm still reading the paper. I think it's potentially very important. Uh, and I wanted to share it with you and see what you guys think.